Good morning, party people. Welcome back. Day two. Vlog number two. Vlog number two. You guys already know I need some coffee. Your boy is tired. Tired, tired, tired. So today, first off, we gotta take my brother. My brother just turned on my car. He should be walking through the door any moment. He might be in this clip, might not be in this clip. But we eat coffee, take brother to the school. Um, I need to hit the gym. And we have work later on. And let's see what happens in between. Don't have any idea what might happen, but who knows? Um, I think we're going to see Sticks a little earlier today. I think we're going to hit the gym together. I think he decided he wanted to come to Planet Fitness with me today. But on that note, let's get some coffee. Let's get going. Get the car about 15 minutes to warm up. And we out of here. Start recording now, boys, because... Listen, that GT500 is sick. I love the purple calipers, by the way. So whoever's car this is, if you do watch this video, your car is amazing, bro. Good specs. I like it. But yeah, I just dropped off my brother. Um, we have a history of going to Mount St. Michael in this family. But, uh, yeah. We're on our way home now. Um, I need to make some breakfast. I need to eat some food. And I gotta plan a few things out. Because uh, with certain things that I haven't told you guys that happened to the car, uh, yeah, the rat ate, rats ate the cables, but then that caused something else to happen. But I'll get into that in a further video. We'll do a dedicated video. But um, we have to figure out We have to figure out what is going to be the plan for this car in general. Guys, by the way, I do like the new 4 Series. I think the new 4 Series is gorgeous, but I honestly, in my humble opinion, would not get it. I would save more money and just get a G82 M4. Because at the end of the day, I think the G82 M4 X-Drive is just a better deal than spending still 40, 50 grand on an M Sport, M Light, whatever you want to call it. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to bash the B58, I'm just saying that the S58 is going to have more potential in the future, like always. So I was just talking to my brother about future plans for this vehicle, and um, most of you guys do watch A-Man, and I did say on A-Man's channel that I did not want to focus on the exterior of this car, but listen, you can't be a car guy and not want your car to look good on the outside, I'm going to be honest. Listen, this is the Clap 435, and our job, our job is to unclap this vehicle and make it look good. I honestly think that a GTS hood and four fenders would look great on this vehicle and honestly I think that's going to be the next thing I'm pursuing. Um, I am going to finish the basic fueling which is injectors and uh, the low pressure fuel pump just so everything runs a little better. But as soon as that is taken care of I do want to get the GTS front, uh, the GTS hood and the M4 uh, fenders just to make the front end of this vehicle look a little bit more aggressive, look a little bit more like uh, masculine. Don't take it in any kind of way, but you know, masculine, big, bulky, you know, wanted to look mean. Um, I've been dealing with my driver's side headlight for a while now, where one of the DRLs doesn't really want to work. Like we fixed it, and then it burnt out, and it keeps burning out. So I think I'm gonna just buy a brand new headlight which sucks, because you guys know the prices of BMW headlights. Ugh, you guys fell. But, um, potentially, potentially might just go aftermarket and get some uh, aftermarket looking uh, icon lights. Still gonna require coating, which sucks, but um, cheaper than spending 5,000 on actual icon lights. Um, but yeah, that might be the plan for this car just to make the car look a little better and then after that I think I'm gonna work on the rear end 
a little bit more. And just the total look of this car, I think I want to get rid of all the dents, um, repaint the black roof on top. I think the black roof looks great. Um, there is some damage on top from when I bought the car, which is crazy because I bought this car for so expensive, so there shouldn't have been any damage on this vehicle. But, you know, I'm not trying to bash the dealership I went to, but if you know, you know. But there's a reason they don't sell so many cars no more, and that's all I'm going to say. But at the end of the day, I uh, want to get this car looking good. I want to get this car running good. You know, um, I still want to hit race mode up this year and impact. I do want to hit those events up, and I do want to get this car on the track. Now, for that, money has to come. But that's on me. That's on me. Uh, I am not taking the highway today. There is a little bit of traffic. I see the slowdown already happening. So we do not want that. Um, I'm just going to go local. But to continue on that conversation, for me to be able to get this car on track, the car needs an LSD. Like, there's no question about it. There's no question about it. This car needs an LSD. That way, it's going to want to stay straight. You know what I'm saying? It's going to want to put the power down. It's going to be the biggest difference between how it drives now, which feels like a, you know, regular, regular car, to feeling a little bit more M performance. And I said M performance for a reason, because I don't think this car will ever feel like an M car, because an M car has a lot of things under, you know, the skin of the body that make an M car, you know, the suspension is beefed up, the chassis is beefed up, everything is beefed up to handle power corners, so I'm not going to say that, but I am going to say M Performance, because they did come out with an M Performance LSD back in the day, and I think they still sell it for the 440, for like Styx's car, but um, I think the way to go, I've been reading on the forums, is to go aftermarket, I think, I think either VAC uh, VAC VAC Motorsports or uh, MAP Map. Um, I think they sell LSDs for this car, but the upgrade is pretty expensive. Not only is the piece, the part itself, like three thousand dollars, but you know installation and all that. So it's kind of hefty. But again, it's um, it's the most I heard it's the, one of the most expensive upgrades, but one of the most needed upgrades to this car. Sorry guys, I was jamming. I was jamming out. I was jamming, 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 jamming. But um, Styx is ahead of me. I didn't think that was going to happen because I left super early. <laughs> but my boy does live closer to this highway, so he gets on here and gets, gets there pretty quick. But uh, looks like things are moving, and thank God I left when I left because um, there was a lot of traffic, boys. There was too much traffic. But listen, honestly, guys, about the Rhino Racing, I don't know what the name of the kit car is. They do have a name for it, but I was thinking on purchasing one. Low key, low key, if I could probably get in touch with them, because I had plans for the end of the year, and yes, I want to keep this 435, but I do want to add another car and you know start the fleet. But um, I think a kit car would be something very interesting to do, and I've always wanted to do a kit car. So um, plus it has the Audi R8 V10, so it's gonna sound great, and I just think building it is gonna be a challenge in itself, and I love a challenge, boys. Literally love a challenge. So um. I'm actually going to try to reach out to them, see the information on the car, and um, look into ways that I could probably finance that build, finance it, you know, you know, find way to find ways to pay for it, and uh, see what we could do. Um, I think it would be interesting. What do you guys think about that Rhino Racing uh, kit car? I think it looks gorgeous. I think it's a damn. I, I can't say that because I don't agree with how the rear end looks. But I was gonna say a better looking 911, but um, 
I don't think you could ever make a better looking 911. I think Porsche does a good job of doing that. And the other um, performance uh, companies that do take the 911 and modify it, like Mansory, etc. And I don't know if you guys just saw that, but a green Lamborghini passed by. I'm pretty sure it was a Huracan. Didn't know which kind it was. I saw it from the glimpse of my eye. But, um, yeah. Uh, let me know. What do you guys think about it? Um, I'm going to put a clip here. Like, right here. When um, I get to editing, so you guys can see what I'm talking about if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. And let me know if that would be something you guys are into. What about if we put that on the channel? Would you guys be into that? Seeing me just build the car? You have to paint it, assemble it, you know, you know, put everything together. It's like gonna be like a big Lego piece. But um, let me know what you guys think. Other news, guys, you guys are BMW fans. Why doesn't BMW make a mid-engine car? Now that we're talking about a mid-engine kit car, why doesn't BMW make a mid-engine car? They gave us the i8 and the i8 was terrible. Not look-wise, I think it looks great, but why does it have a three-cylinder? They should have shoved an N55 in there, or like a B58 in the late, later generations, and made some power. If that car had a B58, and I know we we love jumping on the B58 wagon in the BMW community, but honestly, if that car had something more than just a three-cylinder, I feel like it would have been such a great car. Um, I think they were onto something. I think they were doing a good job. Creating something special but uh, I think they messed up when they made a three-cylinder um, supposedly the next generation version of it is gonna have a four-cylinder but come on man come on you're already giving us a hybrid like shove a V8 in there <laughs> you know what I mean like give us something great the last time we had a great BMW mid-engine car was the M1 the one that shared a pretty similar engine to a very famous car, the F1. The McLaren F1, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. But, um, all I'm saying is, BMW needs to step up their game in terms of that part of the world. I feel like if BMW got in the supercar world, a lot of manufacturers would be scared because there's no way the S58 should be easily making that much power. But, on an, oh my god. This upstate traffic shucks and I look like I don't know how to drive because I keep swerving between lanes I'm just trying to catch up the sticks uh, yeah guys traffic near my house sucks and uh, New York in general it's a Friday everybody's going back home we're gonna be low on gas pretty soon so it's our turn to get gas last night sticks got gas this time it's our turn and um, I literally might just wait to get home to get gas, honestly. Because why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? But I am supposed to be at work in three minutes to set everything up. But um, clearly, yeah. This song keeps replaying. I'm just going to mute it, which tends to pause it. And then listen to it later. But yeah, guys, leave in the comment section down below your opinions on BMW making a mid-engine supercar and should they do it should they not do it and if they do do it what do you think and for the if you guys don't want to comment on that comment on the Rhino Racing uh, kit car I really really want your opinion because it's something I would really love to do and probably if you guys don't agree I'm still gonna do it but I still want your opinion so um, just letting you know because I think that would be a better build than getting a G82 I said it, because it's something custom, something that I'm gonna make with my blood, sweat, and bare hands. Of course, with power tools. But <laughs> you know, it, I think it would be interesting. I think it would be great to dive into a project like that. Definition of project car: build it yourself. But uh, let me know, and hopefully we could get something going. I would be excited to do something like that, honestly. It probably, honestly, if we get all the parts, if we get all the parts, I don't think I'm a master mechanic, 
but I'm pretty sure we, with endless dedication and not missing any parts, of course, every part has to be there, we could do it. But on that note, hold on guys, I'm gonna pick you guys back up. We gotta do, we gotta do something, we gotta do something, we're right before work, I gotta get activated for work, give me that energy. I gotta hold you boys. She pulls sometimes. I'm not gonna hold you. She does pull sometimes. It surprises me how much she pulls. It's not all the time that she does it, but she does do it. I think there was a G82 M4 behind me. But I did that because we gotta get lit for work. We gotta get turned up. slow it down. It's literally a gun that reads our speed as we come up this hill. Literally. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw it in the recording yesterday, but it was flashing. This this one right here. Keeps telling me speed limit is 30 miles. I know it's 30 miles an hour. <clears throat> I know it is 30 miles an hour. But do I care? No. I do not care. I do not care. Windows. Oh, way too much wind, way too much wind, way too much wind. Oh, there's nobody here. I was going to try that, but. You know what? Let's not try anything dumb. That's a cop. If the other car wasn't going, I would have made it. But, um, I just wanted to get here. Why did it shift for me? I hate when it does that. So, guys, this limp mode that the car is in right now. It just doesn't let me shift whenever I truly desire to, but it gives me some power. You guys are probably like, why are you doing this? You're low on gas. You want to waste your gas. Wow. Good shit, bud. But, um... Just for shits and giggles to get our blood flowing. I didn't drink coffee before work today, so I need something to boost my my energy levels. Are you are you are you serious? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. No way. Bro. This is insane. made a wagon I hope that the wind wasn't too much noise there but I, I didn't know I could made a wagon it's kind of sick honestly I don't like wagons I just think it's sick that people make them and that people buy them I find them very weird looking There are 
I'll take first, yeah. Okay. Lower RPMs. But yeah, if you have this limp mode, sometimes I push it, sometimes I don't. It shifts to, through the first two gears quick. That's pretty much it. And it doesn't take sport mode. I mean, it takes it when you're stopped. It'll literally go into it, you know, everything nice. You can even turn off traction control fully. And you're going to see how it just changes. Here, look, watch. All right. We're cruising, we're cruising, we're cruising, we're cruising, we're cruising. Disappeared, right? Car takes itself out of. <laughs> it can't take itself out of sport transmission mode, but it definitely could shift itself. So it's like a baby limp mode. So it's not that bad. But, but it's still bad. But boys, you guys already know. We're here at work. Is it parking here today? I'm gonna park in front of sticks.